as you've seen, we are back in our second home. This is our second home. <laughs> uh, tonight's basketball game did not go that well. About the third inbound of the game, maybe. Fourth inbound of the game. Threw it in a hard low, hard hit to the shoulder, and you can see we are laid up again. So we think maybe Harlow, he said he wasn't gonna talk too much, but anyway, you can't really see the bulge was laying down, but this is the second place we've been. Uh, today we went to the urgent care, got x-rays. Uh, they didn't see anything, but we come to, they sent us to the ER just in case, did another x-ray. So now we're here doing this one. Got those x-rays and gonna see, make sure nothing's broke and hopefully we can get in if it's dislocated, then they'll have to dislocate it, uh, relocate it. Now, I don't know how they do all that, but Harlow's kind of nervous about it because uh, I've heard it's been kind of painful. So maybe they'll give him a pain shot or something like that. But like you said, back in the hospital again, just part, it seems like a big part of my life right now. <laughs> so anyway, y'all be praying for Harlow. We'll let y'all know as we go through the night. Uh, it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock right now. And see if what's happening. Just a basketball injury, so. We got football, and this we were playing Marshall. Is that we were playing Marshall? Marshall is the team where put us in the hospital last time with the knee. So <laughs> they come home and then, like I said, rammed him, and uh, we may have a dislocated shoulder. So we're hoping uh, we can get out of here tonight with just getting it fixed, if that's the case. So anyway, we're in the hospital again. Oh. <laughs> so I'm lay it up. Uh. Basically, uh, it's here, and they thought it was a shoulder, not showing anything. So, we're back in here taking more x rays on this part in the chest. So, oh, this boy, brutal. This boy's so brutal. Anyway. They just gave him some morphine. He's real low tolerant on pain uh, when it comes to in the hospital nervousness and stuff. So they gave him some medicine. Hopefully we're gonna wheelchair him back out and uh, see where it goes. We're still in here. Still loopy. I know it's kicking in here. Back in the room again. Mm -mm -mm. What I was talking about. You don't have to smile or nothing. You don't have to smile. Anyway, they were saying, is that where it was? I don't mm -hmm. want to touch it. I'm scared to touch it. Can you touch it? Where you seeing, where you feeling the pain? Right in that area. So they x-rayed more of that right there. So anyway, still waiting, still waiting. Anyway, hoping for the best. His uncle Corey texted me a while ago, told me he was banned from everything. So I told him he's gonna have to learn how to paint. He's gonna be an artist. But Harlow said he'd, he'd slip on the paint and stab himself with the, tooth, uh, with the artist brush. Um, oh, you know, well, the paint brush. Paint, because you'd be an artist, so you'd be an artist brush. Anyway, they got him on morphine right now, so he's trying to try me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gonna be unloosing them shoes or anything? No? Okay. All right. Well, yeah. keeping y'all updated best we can, even though know, it's all on one video tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Help me with this. <laughs> so Harlow's Harlow's really starved right now, and uh, he really wants me to go out there and get him something at the vending machine. And I told him I couldn't get him anything right now because he's got that medicine in him, and I don't know how to react. <laughs> and Harlow said, "How's it? How's the medicine go? Uh, how did he say it? I don't even know how you said it now." <laughs> My butt. <laughs> he said, how's that medicine gonna upset my stomach? It's in my butt. <laughs> oh, we both definitely feeling good right now, so. <laughs> we'll get you something to eat when we get out of here. We'll get you something when we get out of here. Okay. See the light, the light is shining. <laughs> Boy. Alright. So, let me see if I can get this camera right with my hand. 
So basically what it said, no dislocation, no uh, no break. Uh, but it was thinking around the, it's basically like what, whiplash? Basically the ligament, he said something about the ligaments because he, he thought he heard a pop in his neck, but he said maybe the ligaments in there stretched or something, I don't know. But it's basically like, uh, I don't know, you just got truck. I mean, basically you're trying to take an inbound in with your arms up and somebody just runs right through you. And then the ref didn't even call a foul. <laughs> he didn't even call a foul. Uh, but anyway, so at least we know what we got. We got some painkiller to take and then rest and see how it goes. That's where we at right now. Another night at the hospital. But at least we know you're okay. But like I said, he can't move his arm up or down. So I don't know. We're here for three hours. <laughs> We're here for three hours. Well, if you'd like to go see uh, Keith Holton over at Magnolia Rehab and uh, see what he can do for you. That would get you hooked up. He'll get you hooked up. He goes to rehab so much that Keith Holton is probably going to hire him because he'll already be a physical therapist by the time he graduates high school. So you'll know everything how to do it. But anyway, we're going to shave too because we ain't going to be rubbing all this little facial hair. We ain't having all that. Uh, <laughs> helps you focus. <laughs> anyway, which way, we're just glad he's okay. So anyway, if y'all know anything, I don't know. But you need me poking in your chest? Huh? Yeah. I'm a good for that. They was poking him pretty no, good. David was. Oh. I mean, David like... Yeah. Well, he wants to know. That's what they want to know. Are you hurt? That's what I did. When, when he sat over for the ever, I just went over and told him, get up, let's go, let's get it. Check it out. Yeah, that's your mama. But anyway, we headed out. So y'all have a good one. God bless. As always, Jesus loves you.